So, wonderful morning children. Welcome to Lakshmi study room. Today our topic is epithelial tissue from animal tissue. Epithelial tissue. Tissues are of so many types. Animal tissues are of so many types. That is epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue or nervous tissue. We, already, we have already discussed in muscle tissue in earlier video. But in this video, in this video we are going to learn about the epithelial tissue and how many types of epithelial tissue and what are the functions of epithelial tissue and how it is useful for us. So all these things we should learn in this video. The first, what is epithelial? Epi means outer, thelial means tissue. So that means this tissue covers the internal or uh, external parts of the our body. The main function of epithelial tissue is protecting or covering internal and external parts of the animal body. Generally, epithelial tissue found in the skin. If we see ourselves externally, the most of the organ is skin. So, skin has a which type of tissue? Epithelial tissue. Skin has a epithelial tissue. And the lining of the mouth, lining of the blood vessels, lining of the esophagus and alveoli in lung and tubules in the ne or nephrons in the kidney. So all these organs have a epithelial tissue. And let us move on to the types of epithelial tissue. That is squamous epithelial tissue, cuboidal epithelial tissue, stratified squamous epithelial tissue and Glandular epithelial tissue, ciliated, columnar epithelial tissue. So, all the types of tissues we discussed in this video. So, first, squamous epithelial tissue. It is of two types, simple squamous epithelial tissue and stratified squamous epithelial tissue. But the difference between the simple squamous epithelial tissue and the stratified squamous epithelial tissue is, if the layer of the cells are present in one layer, the cells are arranged in one layer that is called simple squamous epithelial tissue. If the cells are arranged in the many layers, that means one layer among the another layer, it will be called as a stratified squamous epithelial tissue. Squamous is word derived from the Latin word. The squamous means the scales of the fish or any reptile. So, so that's why the, how these uh, epithelial tissue looks like. Uh, these are extremely thin, flat and uh, forms a delicate lining. And where it present? It present in the lining of the mouth, lining of the esophagus and lining of the blood vessels and also lung alveolar. And what's the function of the squamous epithelial tissue? Generally it was present was the transportation of substances selectively occur through permeable membrane. So, they, this type of squamous epithelial tissue was present. And the next one is a stratified squamous epithelial tissue. And where, where it present? Generally, our skin has a so many layers. The skin, the epithelial cells are arranged in the many layers in the skin. So, this type of layers will be called as a stratified squamous epithelial tissue. So, our skin has a outer epidermis, middle, in, middle dermis and inner dermis. So, they, these uh, layers are arranged in the, in the one upon the other. So, that's why it will be called as a squamous epithelial, stratified squamous epithelial tissue. The next one is a cuboidal epithelial tissue and where it present cuboidal epithelial tissue forms a lining of the so many organs or tubules or blood vessels. So, what is the function of this cuboidal tissue? The, fun the main function of the cuboidal tissue is it gives mechanical support to the organs. And next one is a glandular epithelial tissue. How it will be formed? Sometimes some portion of epithelial tissue folds inwards and forms a multicellular glandular tissue. So, it will be called as a glandular tissue and where it present salivary glands in our mouth so it secretes saliva and skin cells also have a 
uh, sweat glands so these are also secret uh, some secretions so it will be called as a multi uh, secretions multi glandular tissue the next one is a cell columnar epithelial tissue and where it present and what is the function of columnar epithelial tissue some hair like projections are will come out from the surface of the columnar epithelial tissue so it will be the main function of this tissue columnar epithelial tissue is so where absorption and secretion takes place for those organs have a columnar epithelial tissue this absorption takes place in the will in the small intestine and secretion will takes place in the some types of glands that is pancreas and liver so all these glands have a glandular tissue secretion will be takes place in those organs our stomach has a gastric glands so gastric glands also secrete gastric juice so where secretion and absorption takes place there columnar epithelial cells cells are present epithelial tissue is present in the our skin and uh, hair and nails will come out from the skin hair and nails will come out from the the scales of fish shows reptiles and feathers of the birds all these are comes under epithelial tissue all these tissues are modified a modified tissues of epithelial tissues so thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell